Hey, it's Joel, 3D printing nerd, and this isn't a printer. This is the Carvey from Inventables, and here's the story. I reached out to Inventables years ago, asking if I could get an X-Carve to try out. I never heard back because I was about, I had about that much pull in the industry, but now I'm, I have a little bit more pull and I'm known a little bit better. Inventables reached out to me and asked if I wanted an X-Carve, and I said, that would be fantastic. I've always wanted to try a CNC machine. But no thank you. What? I don't have the time to put together an X-Carve machine and I have lots of other projects in 3D printing that take precedence. They said, well, what about a Carvey? It sets up in minutes and you're good to go. It's great for libraries and maker spaces and people like you. I accepted, we have a Carvey. Let's get it out of the box and see if we can't make some shavings. Look at that. It's a box and it says Carvey on it. We'll actually dive into that a little bit later. These are nice straps. Good job, Inventables. Ooh, look at that. Oh. It's all right, it's all right, I'm gonna recover. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Oh. Safety manual, getting started. All right, here is, here's a power brick and here, ooh, here's a set of calipers. Look at that. Ooh, may I see? Wow. Thanks for showing that off too. Oh, and, oh, and material. There's a piece of material. Yep. Okay. okay, so that's how. Huh, how to unpack. Yeah, dominated that step. What? While Josh takes the snips and removes the zip ties from the, the giant metal bars, I would like to reach out and say thanks to Inventables for providing this machine to me. Uh, I was not charged for this machine. It was provided to me free of cost to evaluate, showcase, and learn about so I can answer questions when people ask about it. Plus, Inventables thinks I'm cool. All right, well, uh, according to the Getting Started Guide, once we get it unpacked and everything ready, it actually, uh, this looks like the picture. We've got the Carvey with the lid open and a guy or girl or person with their computer plugged in via USB. Let's get carving. So Inventables uses an app called Easel. Easel is the, it looks like a web interface to the Carvey, and I'm willing to bet it's also the same interface to the X-Carve. Test carving. To get your Carvey up and running as a test carving, we'll engrave the Easel logo into a piece of sample material, which it looks like it's right there on the bed. This project will walk you through the basics of how Carvey works. Before using Carvey, make sure you've read and understand the safety manual. Uh, reader, you want me to read it? All right, get started. Check the material. We've already clamped a piece of material in the car before you. Please confirm that the piece is secure and unable to move. The piece doesn't move. The little bed moves, piece doesn't move. That's a good check. I'm gonna click a button here that says material is secure. Insert the bit, insert the blue bit. All right, the blue bit is 1 16th fishtail, it says. 1 16th fishtail. Looks like that's it. 1 16th fishtail says. So we got to insert that bit. So let's see, insert the blue bit, 1 16th inch fishtail and secure it using two wrenches. The larger wrench is used with the bottom part of the collet. Okay. It looks like it's just like the, a drill. So it has a opening in the bottom. It looks like I should be able to put the bit in. Right. Top wrench here. Isn't this the top wrench? Ah, there we go. All right, it's pretty tight. Let's move this out of the way. Bit is secure. I'm gonna click that button. Now I've installed the Carvey driver to my MacBook Pro. The next screen says start carving. Make sure Carvey's interior is clear and close the door. The interior, it looks clear. I'm gonna close the door. Oh no, look at that, I just noticed. 
It's cracked. You got a crack. I got a crack. Wait, wait. The safety manual specifically says. I have a crack. Never operate if Carby's top cover is cracked or broken. It's a small crack. This is just a, a very, very small crack. I will talk to Inventables and I will let them know that the unit does have a crack. They'll probably send a replacement door, I would imagine. Uh, but it's not, it doesn't look like it compromises the structural integrity of this door. It looks like I can, I can open and close that without actually spreading the crack. So I'm going to hit this button carve and then it's going to carve. This says it's carving the logo, the easel logo. I, I'm, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm standing right next to it and you can probably still hear my voice and you can hear something going on in the background, but for all intents and purposes, this is a quiet machine. All right, looks like the Carvey's done. It took very little time at all and it was very interesting. This was my first CNC thing. So on the screen, I see how did it turn out. Now that your job is completed, please take a moment to examine the workpiece. Did your design cut the way you wanted it to? And I've got a yes and a no. Well, it's done so we can lift the lid. I'll put that there. Here's the piece right here. I'd say it's a good, I was just gonna say it's a good print, but it's not a print, it's a good cut. I'm gonna select yes, it looks great. Well shoot, this was my very first CNC and I really like this machine so far. And the reason being is because it took little to no time to get it out of the box, to set it up and to get my first cut going. The easel software looks easy to use and hopefully I can bring you some more information on that software as I start to use this machine. Really looking forward to doing some projects and I think this machine is aimed at people like me. Someone who has technical ability to do things but doesn't have the time to tinker. Had I had the time, I would have an X-Carve but I don't have the time, I have a Carvey. So definitely look into the Carvey if this is your cup of tea. Again, I'll, I'll use it, I'll, I'll cut more things and hopefully I'll cut some things that you wanna see cut on it. If you have any questions I might be able to answer, please leave them in the comments below. I'll do what I can. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of when cool new stuff gets uploaded to the channel, such as this video. Thanks for your support via Patreon, via YouTube Red, and for letting the ads play. And finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, this is cool and high five.